Hello guys, it's Remus here again, bringing you another video about Kale and Morgana. So, we finally got the reveal of her abilities, and Morgana remains the same, apart from a small buff to her ultimate, that also grants movement speed towards enemies, to ensure they cannot escape the bound. But for Kale, the abilities are quite changed, as you can see the passive is the Divine Ascent, so at level 1 you're normal, at level 6 she becomes a flame, launching flaming waves that deal bonus damage, so the AoE flames I've said in the teaser. Then at level 11 she evolves into a fully ranged champion, and at 16 takes the final form and her flaming wells will deal true damage. So you no longer toggle the ranged with the E, now you have it from the passive. The Q is the thing that you can throw, you conjure a portal that shoots a flaming blade at an enemy, shredding armor and magic resist and slowing her target, and this attack explodes to damage enemies next to the target as well. Her W is the heal, it's the same as the old one, it's a heal that also grants a burst of movement speed. The E has a passive and an active, the passive, her basic attacks deal bonus damage with scale with both her ability power and attack damage, so kind of like Ginzu. And the active is that her next basic attack is ranged and deals a portion of the target's missing health as bonus damage. And after ascending to a flame, this attack deals damage to the target next to your enemy as well. And her ultimate, like I said in yesterday's teaser, it's the old one plus damage. So, bestows invulnerability on herself or an ally for a few seconds and when invulnerable, purifying swords fall in a circle around her target, damaging enemies in the area. They can also move while they have this on them. So it's a pretty nice combination of, let's say, Nunu and the uh, old Kale suit. And we also have some gameplay. Pretty interesting. I, I like the rework so far. And for Morgana, like I said, nothing is changed apart from a small buff to her ultimate. Gameplay-wise. And then we also have the special arts, which are amazing. Currently we have two skins that are conjoined, including the base skins. And then the other ones, which look pretty damn amazing. Alright, that's it for this one, they will be tomorrow on the PB, they delayed it from today to tomorrow, so we'll see more then, I'll do a spotlight for both of them, though for Morgana there's not much to say since she wasn't changed, but we're gonna take a look at her skins and everything and do the old versus new, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you soon, bye bye.